I am Professor N. B. Hulle from G. H. Raisuni Institute of Engineering and Technology. In this video, we will try to calculate uh, <coughs> that is current required here, that is magnetizing current required to produce the flux of uh, uh, some given value, which is 1.2 milliwebers in the magnetic circuit, which is shown in this particular figure. Now, here first I will sort out the given data. For that case, I will give the name to the magnetic path. The smaller dimension magnetic path, I will call it as a path number 1. This is path number 1. This is the path number 2. And the third path is the air gap, in which uh, the relative permeability may be the different. Here, as per the given data, find the magnetizing current required to produce the flux. Is here, in this case, we are interested in the calculation of the current. Here given thing is the flux in the air gap is given which is given as 1.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 Webers is the given value of the flux uh, for this particular figure shown nickel decay and perenging and BH curve is given. Uh, here in this case some parameters are given in the figure itself that is number of turns are given which is given as it is 1000 turns, 1000 number of turns. The area of the part 1, the area for the part 1 is given which is given as 9 centimeter square that is 9 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square. The length of the part 1 is also given this total value is 600 centimeters. I will try to find out the actual value. Actual value means again it is approximate value this minus 2 millimeter. The 600 minus 2 millimeter means this is 600 mm oh, sorry centimeter this is centimeter minus 2 millimeter. This value it is coming to be this particular value if I am calculating this value it is coming to be 0.598 this is 0.598 meters. Means here this value is 600 into 10 to the power of minus 2 minus this 2 value that is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 if you are working on this value, it is coming to be this value. That is length of the first part. The area of the second part. The area of the second part is 12 cm square. That is 12 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square. And the length of the part number 2, which is this, given as 6 meters. It is given as it is 6 meters. Then we have the third part. That is area of the air gap, which is same as the area of the smaller part, which is uh, uh, 9 cm square. That is uh, 9 uh, into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square. And the length of the air gap, the length of the air gap is 2 millimeter. That is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. These are the given data, and here the number of turns are also given. I mentioned everything. Now here in this case. Uh, how to deal with such problems? Now here in this particular case we are interested in the calculation of the current I. Means anyhow for the calculation of the current I we have to use the formula of the MMF which is N into I. The number of turns are known. Number of turns are known. And uh, uh, MMF is known then we can calculate its value of the current I. Means we have to use another formula for the calculation of the MMF. What is the other formula for the calculation of the MMF, which is phi into S, means we have to use this formula. Flux is already given. This value is given. We are interested in this calculation. This we need to calculate. We need to calculate. And for that calculation, this is. This indirectly, we have to focus on the calculation of the S. How is the calculation of the S? The S of this magnetic circuit, because it is series magnetic circuit. This is first part, sorry, this is first part, this is second part, and this will be the third part. That is addition, this S will be S for the uh, first part, plus S for the second part, plus S for the third part. But here, where is the difficulty? For the calculation of S for this path and this path, which are uh, the magnetic, uh, magnetic material, its relative permeability is not given. The difficulty in the calculation of the S is that, S calculation difficulty is that relative permeability of the part 1 is not given and relative permeability of the part 2 is also not given which we have to calculate. 
But here, in this case, whenever the BH curve is given, in that case, calculate the flux density of the part 1, part 2, and then read out its corresponding value of the H. And by knowing B and H, we can find out its value of the mu, because formula for another formula we have to use, I will write here, this is B is equal to mu into H is another formula, is this mu is equal to B upon H, means we are able to find out its mu, and this mu is nothing but, this mu is nothing but, mu naught into mu r is indirectly we are able to do the calculation of this because mu naught into mu r which is miss indirectly we are able to calculate the mu r or this multiplication value which is mu which we need in the calculation. This here I will start with the calculation of the first part. This is part number one for the first part. What we will what we will have? We, I will calculate the b first. Because I want to use this BH curve. Whenever the BH curve is given, calculations are again more simple. It looks to be complicated, but not. This is for part 1. I will find out the B. B is equal to 5 divided by A of the part 1. Because flux is same for everyone. This is, I will call it as B1. Because flux density of the part 1, which is equal to flux. In this case, flux is given as it is 1.2 into 10 is power of minus 3 divided by area of the first part which is 9 into 10 is power of minus 4. If we are finding this value, the flux density of the first part, it is coming to be 1.33. And a formula for the flux density is, of its unit is, that is Weber per meter square. Now here, if 1.33 is this value, then its corresponding value of the H, is H for the first part, which is found to be, that is 900 from the graph, 900 and its unit is ampere turns per meter. This is ampere turns per meter. If we know these values, then we can use the formula, <coughs> this formula, <coughs> that is mu is equal to or mu of the first part is equal to, that is B upon H. This is B upon H, that is 1.33 upon H, which is 900. And if I am calculating this value, its value it is found to be, that is 1.481 into 10 raised to the power of minus 3 is the value of the mu, which is again in this per meter. Because here in this case, this value is not only the mu r, it is multiplication of the mu naught into mu r, that is nothing but the mu, that is absolute permeability here in this case. And if we are doing the similar calculation for the part number 2, Similar calculation for the part number 2 here. Again here in this case we will find out the B for the part number 2. B for the part number 2 which is 5 divided by area of the part number 2. Which is equal to its flux is again same that is 1.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by its area is 12 into 10 to the power of it is minus 4 meter square. Which is equal to if I am doing this division here its value is found to be that is 1. Weber per meter square or Tesla is the value of the flux density in this particular case. And if I am reading its corresponding value of the H, look at from the table. Look at from the table. Its corresponding value is 470. Miss H for the part number 2, it is found to be, H for the part number is found to be 470 ampere turns per meter is that value. That is ampere turns per meter is that value. And from these values we can find out the mu for the part number 2 which is B upon H. This is B upon or B for the part 2 divided by H for the uh, sorry H for the part number 2. Now here which is equal to 1 divided by it is 470. That is 1 divided by 470. Here, if we are finding this value, it is a found to be, that is a 2.127 into 10 raised to the power of it is minus 3, that is n raised per meter, is the value of this uh, mu, that is uh, absolute permeability for the part number 2. And if we know these values, then we can find out the value of the S directly. Now here, if I am doing the calculation of the S, which is equal to S for the part number 1 plus S for the part number 2, and the plus S for the air gap, that is S for air, which is equal to S for iron, uh, part number 1. S for part number 1, its formula is 
L for the part number 1 divided by A for the part number 1 that is L divided by A into mu that is mu naught into mu r plus here L for part number 2 divided by area of the part number 2 into mu for the part number 2 plus here length of the air gap divided by that is area of the air gap that is area of the air gap into here it is mu naught that is absolute permeability. If I am substituting these values here this value is it is 0 0.598 divided by its value of the uh, uh, that is area which is 9 into 10 this power of it is minus 4 into this value of the mu which I have calculated here which is 1.481 this value it is 1.48 this is 1.481 into 10 this power of minus 4 plus this value that is 6 meters divided by area for the part 2 that is 12 which is 12 into 10 to the power of minus 4 into mu for the part number 2 which is 2.127 into 10 to the power of it is minus 3 plus this value which is 2 millimeter that is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by its area is 9 centimeter square that is 9 into 10 to the power of minus 4 into mu naught is it is that is 4 pi into 10 to the power of it is minus 7. And if we are doing all these calculations here, then we will get the total value. This value it is found to be 448.949 into 10 to the power of plus 3. Then second value is 2.351 into 10 to the power of plus 6 plus this third value will be 1.7684 into 10 to the power of it is 6. And so many approximate calculations are there. If I am taking the decimal two places after the decimal point, then again more rounding will be there. That's why always I will say the magnetic circuit calculation is not the exact value. It is approximate value. And its value is found to be 4.1683 into 10 to the power of 6 is the value of the S. And if we know the value of the S, then we are in a position to calculate, if we know the value of the S, then we are in a position to calculate the remaining calculations. Now here, if we know the value of the S, then what is the, uh, our requirement S? Then we will use this formula, MMF is equal to phi into S and we can calculate its value. That's why here, this is MMF is equal to, this is phi into S, where the phi is the flux which is 1.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 Weber into this value that is 4.1683 into 10 to the power of it is 6. And if we are doing this calculation, its MMF it is found to be that is 5.48 into 10 to the power of 3 is the value of the MMF which is the ampere turns. And by knowing this MMF, we can use this second formula. We can use this second formula here which I have mentioned here. In this particular case, this formula and we can find out the value of the current I. That's why whatever the second formula we are using for MMF is, this is MMF is equal to, this is N into I. We are interested in the current that is I. Here this I is equal to, this is MMF divided by the number of turns, which is 5.48 into 10 raised power of 3 is the MMF divided by the number of turns are 1000. And here, if we are doing this calculation, that is 5.48 amperes, this is the value of the current needed in the circuit to produce that much flux for this given magnetic circuit. That is, uh, this is the stuff for this particular video. Thank you for watching this video and uh, in maybe in the next uh, video, I will cover or I will increase the difficulty level of the problems. Thank you for this particular uh, watching this video. That's all.